Sierra Software Tutorials Product Download and Installation In this video, we will download and install Sierra Software Stitch Arrow Liberty. However, the procedure is identical for other Sierra Software products like Hotfix Era and Embroidery Office. Before starting, it is highly recommended to verify that the computer we will use to install and run the product has the appropriate characteristics. Details of the requirements for both software and hardware are available in the system requirements section of each of the product pages at Sierra Software website. The computer must run one of the compatible operating systems, and it should be properly installed and updated. For subscription products, we will need a permanent connection to the internet. For perpetual license products, the connection is not mandatory, but it is highly recommended, since the activation and update of the product will be much easier. We should verify that the computer meets the minimum hardware requirements. As much as possible, we should try to meet or exceed the recommended requirements to get a smoother and more comfortable user experience. The email we receive a few minutes after purchasing the product contains all the information we need to download and install it. It shows the serial number of our product and the username and password assigned to us to download the product and access the area for users. It also contains a guide with the basic instructions for downloading and starting the installation. The link in the first step of the instructions within the email will take us to the login page of the user's area. In the right column, within the section Download Software and Installation Password, there is a link to access the product download. We will need some information from the email to validate the access to the download links, the serial number, user ID, and password. We can use copy-paste from the data in the mail. We have just to be careful not to copy any space at the beginning or end of each element. We may review the terms and conditions and download a copy if we want. Once we have read them, we check the box and click Next. The window that appears contains links to download the installation guide the product downloader, and the password file for our serial number. The installation guide contains detailed instructions for downloading and installing the product and describes the process that we will be following in this tutorial. At the end of the guide, there is an important note about antivirus and firewall. If you are using a different antivirus or firewall product than those installed with Windows, it is highly recommended to temporarily disable them. It will prevent any interference with the installation of the product. We will keep Windows Security Antivirus and Firewall activated. This will give us enough protection during the download and installation of the product. Once the installation is complete, we can re-enable the antivirus and firewall software that we normally use. We may download a copy of the installation guide, just for reference. It may be especially useful if we plan to install the product on a different computer than the one we are using to download. The installation files will be downloaded using a downloader tool. In fact, when we click on the link, we are getting that tool. It is recommended to use the same folder to store all the files that we will download during this process. We can run the tool from the folder or directly from the browser. The Downloader Tool is a safe file, digitally signed by our company, AR Robots SA. We can run it without any risk. We just need to check that the destination path where the downloaded files will be stored matches the one we were using. The tool will suggest that you create a folder called Sierra Software for that purpose. Then we press Start to initiate the download. It will take some time to complete, depending on the speed of your internet connection. If the download is interrupted for any reason, we can run the tool again from the folder where it was stored, and the process will continue from the point where it was interrupted. While the tool downloads the installation files, we can download the password file. Just click on the link, the download will take only a few seconds. If we check the downloads folder, we will see that the password file has been saved there.
Access to the software and password file downloads will be available always in the area for users, so it is not necessary to keep copies of them. In fact, it is recommended that you don't do that, as the installation files will change each time we release a product update. Also you need to consider that all users of Perpetual License version 20 products receive a free subscription for 6 months to the Super Plan. It includes all the major and minor updates that may be published in that period. We will also receive, every month, two design components, fonts, programmable stitches, etc., to enhance our system. These components are delivered through a password file that you will receive monthly. So it is not convenient to save the password file you got during the first installation of the product. The latest password file issued for our system will always be available in the area for users. Other important benefit to remember, all version 20 products include two licenses so we can install and use the product on two different computers at the same time. Once the download is complete, we can start the product installation from the downloader itself. Or we can start it by running the setup file or setup.exe if our Windows Explorer is configured to show file extensions. It is located inside the folder we have selected to store the downloaded files. If we are going to install the product on a different computer or on a second computer, we will need to transport to that computer the folder where the installation files are located, Sierra software in this case, and the password file. We will start the installation from the downloader itself, just clicking install. In some cases, Windows may display a message requesting authorization to run the installer. You can grant the authorization with confidence, the installer is safe and is digitally signed by our company, AR Robots SA. The installation wizard displays the welcome screen and we need to click next to start. Depending on the software configuration of our computer, it may be necessary to update a piece of Microsoft software. The installation wizard will automatically handle the update and, eventually, it will prompt you to restart the computer. If we have unsaved work in other applications, we should save it and close those applications. Then we will let the wizard restart the computer or restart it manually. After the computer restarts, the wizard will run automatically and the installation will resume. At this point, we need to enter the installation password file that we have downloaded. We press select, browse to the folder where we have saved it during the download. Select the password file, click open and wait some seconds for the wizard to validate the password file. Then, press next. In this step, we will set some basic preferences. We will assign a name to the computer that will help us to identify it in case we eventually need to remove the license from the computer. We will also indicate whether the installer should create shortcuts on the Windows desktop or not. And we will set the file types for which the product will be used as the default application to open them. Click Next to continue and the installation wizard will indicate that all is ready to install the product. So, we click on Install. The wizard will copy the necessary files and make the necessary configuration settings. Then it will set up the design components, fonts, programmable stitches, fill patterns, etc. As a final task, if the computer has internet access, the wizard will activate and register the product automatically. If internet access is not available or if, for some reason, it is not possible to connect to the license server, Activation must be done when the product runs for the first time. The installation guide contains details on how to perform this process online or offline. The installation wizard has already completed the process. We click finish and the product will be installed and ready to use. As we can see, shortcuts have been created on the desktop for the main product, Stitch Era in our case. And for Era Explorer, a very useful application to manage your embroidery files with look and feel quite similar to Windows Explorer, but focused on embroidery files. Let's start the product for the first time. The presentation window appears. We must check the box that indicates that we have read the user license and then we click yes to indicate that we accept the terms. 
We may check the box do not ask again to skip this confirmation in future sessions. Once the product starts, this screen will appear, which is the file menu window. The product has been installed. If we need to install the product on another computer, we just copy the downloaded installation files, that is, the Sierra software folder in our case, with all its contents and the password file and transport to that computer. Then, we just need to repeat the steps we have done. Of course, we also download the product and the password file again on that computer following the complete process that we followed in this video. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your product.